Hey everyone! What is good? Welcome back to the channel. This is Silver Hyena and for today's video I am not only testing out this very very old little pad of watercolor that... Okay, this store went out of business at least 13 years ago. Rest in peace Wagner's Crafts. I miss you a lot. So we've got that, uh, but I have really wanted to try out this. Yeah, um, <laughs> so this is the Artist Loft watercolor pan set 28. Now the thing about Artist Loft, they are the Michaels store brand and they don't exactly have the best reputation, which to be honest is part of the reason I wanted to try it out. <laughs> so we'll see if I come to regret that decision. Anyways, I was going to swatch them out first and then draw up an illustration and paint it. So let's begin. Plastic is the enemy! Whoa! I just went catapulting. <laughs> I don't even know what that was. But yeah, there we are. Oh, I found out what that was. This was the thing that goes here so that it can hang. <laughs> I just kind of went catapulted. <laughs> Sorry, I just thought that was funny. It just yeeted itself across my room. Go figure. Okay, so let's... Come on. Will you open? There we go. Let's have a look. Oh, wow. Um... <laughs> Did I mention that these tend to be very cheap? Oh yeah, look. That's a piece that broke off from somewhere. <laughs> so, um... <laughs> uh, not exactly the greatest first impression. I figure that, though, that this does come with plenty of palette space on there. And the colors, like, I want to like the color selection, of course. While the colors might look nice and pretty and full here, you gotta get the water and test them out. So let's get to doing that. Oh boy, hopefully there's room for this. And I might have to set it kind of in an odd spot so that it doesn't compete with the stage lights. Okay, so this paper, regular weight watercolor paper, does it even have? Oh, oh yeah, 90 pound rough watercolor paper that like, um, it's not exactly filling me with much confidence, but I figure this is just the swatch sheet. When I do the actual illustration, I will be taping it down because this stuff is probably gonna buckle more than my knees under serious pressure. So, to begin with, I'm just gonna go down the line, I guess. Let's just... Start off with this gray here. Let's see how it works. No, well, I've definitely seen better. I've seen worse, but let's let's give them a fair shake before we come to an absolute conclusion. So I'm going to speed things up for now, and I will get back to you in just a sec.
Okay, so we've got the initial swatches and blending test. I mean, it's not horrid overall, but I mean, I've 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 done better. I've seen better. I've seen worse too. So now comes the real test. An illustration. Let's get Excuse me, cat. Are you guys hearing this? Hear that catitude my fuzzy wuzzy's giving me? <laughs> All right, time to draw up something. I'll be back in a moment. Okay, so I sketched up something and inked it off camera, but this is on the Pro Art watercolor paper. So considering it did this when it dried, um, I used masking tape to tape it down. Uh, however, let's just say that uh, if this works out, I will be pleasantly surprised. However, this paper, I wouldn't recommend it. I'll use what I've got left because, well, it was given to me for free, so I'm not going to complain about getting stuff for free. However, if you're spending your hard-earned cash, I'd, I'd recommend Master's Touch before that. <laughs> so put that into perspective. Anyways, let's put these Artist Loft watercolor cakes to the test. Okay, so I was really, really trying to give these paints a fair shake during the swatching phase, but the more I used these watercolors and tried to blend and layer, uh, the more I realized that I wasn't terribly fond of them. The texture of these particular paints alone just wasn't good. It was really gritty. In some instances, it almost felt like trying to paint with dirt, if that makes sense. Especially after being spoiled by Daniel Smith and their delightful smoothness. The best way to describe the Artist Loft watercolors would be chalky. Now, I don't know about you, but when I use watercolors, I'd rather not feel like I'm trying to use classroom chalk to paint. Granted, now I want to try mashing up some standard classroom chalk and seeing if I could paint with it. Well, there's an idea. However, as strange as it might seem, I'd actually like to try out more supplies from Artist's Loft just because these paints are so terrible. I guess I'm just a glutton for punishment. But it's better that I spend my money and try out these art supplies in order to give you all an honest review and help you make informed decisions, right? 
I am a professional lunatic, after all. Most of all, I'm curious about the Artist Loft brand brush markers. Post below, have you ever used any Artist Loft brand products? Did you like them? Hate them? Post below, I always love to hear what you guys have to say. Now, if you would like to know of some relatively inexpensive brands of watercolor that aren't half bad, um, well, I could recommend Master's Touch, which is the Hobby Lobby store brand. While not the greatest and most amazingest watercolors in the world, they weren't half bad. They were the same watercolors I used for my first video on Adventures in Watercolors. Um, there's the Van Gogh, which are supposed to be the best student quality, I believe. If you know of any other brands that are really, really good student quality, post below. I'm always willing to hear more. However, I'm given to understand that the Van Gogh are just a, the tiniest of a hair under professional. So... One of these days, I want to get some of those and try them out just because I, I have to know for myself. There's also the Koi brand of watercolors. Again, something else I want to get for myself to try them out. Before you know it, I am going to be swimming and drowning in watercolors because there's so many different brands that I just want to try them all out. And of course, if you know of any other brands of watercolors that are easier on the bank, again, post below, share with the rest of the class. Especially if it's a brand I've never even heard of, because again, like I said, I always love trying out new things, especially art supplies. Although if you're looking into something a bit more luxurious, you just can't go wrong with Daniel Smith. Daniel Smith, right now, those are my favorite watercolors I have ever used. Along with the one M-gram I've used, which is Azo Green. M-gram, so far as I can tell, they're also quite amazing. Alrighty, so here we are, finished, and oh boy, I gotta say, in between this paper and these paints, let's just say that these, um, the Artist Loft paints, these watercolors, uh, they are definitely not all that great. I mean, like, you can probably see it, but it's even more so when you feel it. It is very chalky, would be a word I would use to describe it. And I don't know about you, but when I'm working with watercolors, I don't want it to feel like chalk. So that just... Uh, they're not exactly... Uh, I, I don't recommend them. If I had to give them a numerical rating, it would be about a three. Four if I'm feeling exceptionally generous. <sighs> I'm just trying to get this masking tape up without shredding the paper. There we go. Yeah, so... Overall, if you wanted to get a, a cheap set of watercolors, I, I definitely recommend the Master's Touch, which is the Hobby Lobby store brand. I, I, I'd recommend those over these any day of the week, any month, any year. 
Okay, so here we are, tape all removed, nice crisp border, and well, overall the, the painting isn't horrible. Um, not a fan of the paper, not a big fan of these paints, um, definitely, definitely you could do better. Anyways, that's all the time we have for today's video. Please be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed and if this helped you make some informed decisions about what to purchase or in this case rather what not to purchase when it comes to your art supplies. Right now, one of the best things any of my viewers can do to help me out right now is to make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel. And make sure to hit the bell notification so that you'll know exactly when I post a new video. Anyways, this is Silver Hyena, signing off. Stay creative, everybody. Bye!